Yo, B, what's up, man? Doc, what up, man? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You know, I was just sitting here, I was thinking, you know, there's no good roles for us. Yeah, man, you know what? I was just thinking the same thing earlier. You know, some sweet roles, some roles that you can just, like, bite, sink your teeth into. That's what I was thinking. You could just bite right into it, no thought. You just right in there. That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, you page. know what? I was at an audition the other day, and these cats told me that I wasn't black enough for the role, man. I wasn't black enough. I mean, come on, man. I'm a damn good actor, man. I can play the Grand Torino. Why can't I play the Grand Torino? You know, I can play an old dude. I can play the Incredible Hulk just because he's green. Doesn't mean that I can't play the Incredible Hulk, man. Um, what are you talking about, man? What, TV roles, man. You know, movie roles. Theater roles. Like, what you doing, right? right. See, I, I was talking about these jelly rolls. See, I don't know what this is. It's monkey bread. And there's nothing to sink my... Th I mean, there's nothing. I'm looking oh, for strawberry, right, lemon. Right. Yeah, yeah. I like the custard, yeah, too. Yeah, and I like you lemon. Know, I, I like lemon. You're... I was really contemplating that when you walked up. And, I, I, you know, you look hungry. I am like, hungry. Yeah, so yes, I, rolls. Yeah, I, but I, I, I don't know you. what we can do with this. But <laughs> they do need to write us better rolls, too. I was feeling. See, you are. Okay, yeah, you I was are saying, okay. okay, I'm just snapped off just, for a second. I was just my a little bad, hungry. But that's rolls. All. You know what I say? I say, fuck these rolls, man. My first guest tonight, he's an actor. You've seen him on TV in Prison Break and Soul Food and in the movies and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and The Family That Prays. He's also a writer and a director. Please welcome Rachman Dunbar to the show. Yeah. You see how I look out for you, Kimmy? You do look out for me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh, easy. easy. Oh, look at that. That's that Mexico silver, man. You gotta be careful with that. Look at the hernia trying to lift this thing. Oh, that is nice. You want me to put it on for you? You can. I can. This is nice. Are you hitting on me? Huh? No, I'm not hitting on you. My goodness. All right. This, is, this could pay my rent. It's a family show. It's a family show. Thank you. You're good. Welcome, my brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm always interested in? I'm interested in the actor's journey. Oh, boy. Tell me about, because I'm, I'm scared to death to walk into a room of people and right. have to read for a part. Tell me about that first time you did that. You know, it was really funny. Uh, I was a sophomore in college, and there was a show that Steven Spielberg was producing called Earth 2, right? And I go in, and I have to audition for this robot, so, you know, I, go into the place and then like, you know, be the robot and like, I'm the robot. I'm like, I'm the robot, right? <laughs> Doing theater, straight theater. They're like, all right, well, you're not going to get the part of the robot, but we are going to create a role for you wow. on the TV series. Wow. Uh, it was uh, Antonio Sabato Jr., uh, Rebecca Gayhart, uh, Clancy Brown, Jessica Steen, uh, some great people, right. you know, and uh, that was my first role in a TV series and it was a very, very difficult audition to get through and to hear no and right. then get a call back saying like oh no we're going to create something Did for you say it, all, it was difficult playing the robot i'm not going to be a part of this it was no it was a difficult <laughs> through the audition oh, through the audition oh, okay. no i'm not i'm a brother i can I'm do the robot, robot like, come on, on now. got the robot down <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite if i may it, there's so many but prison break it's a good show, a good show. i don't know why that went away i love prison break and then my other favorite character, of course, is uh, because you're such a good actor. Thank you. Uh, dirty Laundry. You uh, go from, you yeah. know, one extreme to the next, and that really shows a range. No, I try. I try. I went to Morehouse, studied there for a little bit, went over to the College of Santa Fe, got my butt kicked. You know, every mm -hmm. time I was in a scene study, I was the only black guy in the whole theater program, so I was Aaron the Moore and mm -hmm. Othello so many times over and over again. I don't know. But you're, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Brian. I'm just, he's, no, I'm I know, a fan. I know. I'm giving you your opportunity he knows, to, he knows. to gush and mush. Just remember, it's a family show. Yes, it is. Uh, so, um, mm, <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, hold that thought. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> We are back with Rockman Dunbar. Thanks again for being here, my man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate These it. boots, man, they're killing me. Yeah, yeah, you like killing that? Me. We can get you a pair, man. You yeah. just gotta, you know, start lifting or something, you know. <laughs> get your protein up. I'm a protein. <laughs> Stop it. All right. So, uh, you're working on a television show now, series. You're always yeah. working. Yeah, I, I try to. I try to. Uh, Sean Ryan created a new series along with Ted Griffin called uh, Terriers, right? Um, About dogs? You know, it's, it's more of like people acting like little dogs. No, it's not. It's a cop show. That, <laughs> it's a cop. 
I tried to take it in. I was like, 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 is this some kind of April Fool's like, joke? Oh, this is like, deep. Did you see me go up? I was like, yeah. that's deep. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's another cop show. It's more like the Rockford Files, if you will. Uh, Donald Logue plays uh, the lead character along with uh, Michael Raymond, and I'm just the guy that tries to keep them in line. I'm detective. Right. You know, strong black man doing his thing. Brother got a job. So. Yes, sir. Good thing. Good thing. Yeah. It's good. It's Something good. else I noticed too is that you can really, really keep that beard so looking so smooth with the bald it's, head. Man, I mean, I'm, how you know? I'm that so might be tired my of this look. beard, Rick. Don't. Could be. don't. It's just too much maintenance, man. I'm not. I'm not one of those cats that love maintenance. I don't like going to the barber shop and getting the beard done, and I got to go do it again tomorrow before we shoot. But I, right. if I could just cut this thing off and be done. But why can't you went in like that? I went into the pilot and uh, you know, I was moving. I sold my house and I was going back and forth, going through a traumatic breakup. And so, yeah, I just really? turned into like caveman. Look at that, baby. I'm single. I'm single. Go, go and touch me right there. No, I'm just saying you went through a breakup. You okay now? Uncomfortable. <laughs> Awkward. 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 <laughs> Awkward. No, but um, yeah, I just kind of let everything grow out and went into the audition. They were like, yep, got it, done. Went to the pilot, start filming. I'm like, you guys want me to cut the beard? They're like, no, 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 you're great. So now I have to stick with stick it for 13 with episodes. So. Wow. Yeah. So you've done the acting, mm -hmm. doing some writing. Oh, yeah. And oh, directing. Yeah. yeah, I directed my first feature. Um, it's kind of like, I think it was a year and a half ago now, wow. called wow. Pastor Brown. Yep. Pastor Brown. Interesting, uh, interesting twist in this thing. With the yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. A yeah, young lady uh, is estranged from her family for about 10 years. She goes back home to help her ailing father. Her father, on his deathbed, has said, he says, hey, look, I want you to head the church. But it's not more of her becoming the pastor of the church. It's more of her taking on a challenge that her father put on her because he knew that she could be a better woman. Right. Um, so Sally Richardson plays the lead. We have no Nicole Ari Parker, Keith David, Ernie Hudson, wow. Monica. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of black hey, people I in this film. It's a lot of black people. Yeah, because you were busy. We actually called your agent, and he said that you were working. Uh, so, yeah, yeah I caught, you were on tour in Europe. In Europe. That, that must have been last year, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, during that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, That's good. look for that. Was it, was it difficult to tr go from acting to directing and no. be in the film? You know what's amazing? I was doing The Family That Prays with Tyler Perry at the time. And, uh, yeah, give it up to Tyler. What? I do trying to get my Tyler on. It's just it's a lot of work. Uh, but uh, I, fin I started doing the film right after. So I got a chance to watch him in front of the camera, behind the camera, mm. doing his thing, right? So I'm like, you know, okay, I might be able to do this. And when we start to do uh, Pastor Brown, you know, I did all of my prep, all of my work that I needed to do. So when I got on set, I was able to hop in front of the camera, get behind the camera, direct the actors, get them to play and, and do the things that we needed to do in order to make a viable production. So we did it. We talked to Rashad yeah. about that. Rashad. He was one of the producers. Yeah, on we that. won't mention his name because I'm, um, okay, yeah, we'll seriously. Just, that you, dude, just, you just mentioned yeah. it, though. I did. That's a uh -huh. great show. I love your boots. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Those are thank hot. You. Thank Very you. fashionable, brother. Yeah, it is yeah. a pleasure to have and you. Definitely. Single. I'm sorry, I just did an advertising. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Very good.